Okay, this is um, Dramatic GD10. Want to look at how we can set up a, a 2D project. First of all, that is on, right? We put it on and off from here. Then it comes up. And the first thing it shows is the device page. If you look at the device page, that's actually where you see the device description, the ID, and the device model. Then there's another page here, which is the project page. The project page shows all the projects you've actually downloaded into GD10. Then you have a script page. The script page shows the kind of scripts that actually installed or you've actually downloaded into the GD10 system. Then F4 button, as we go on, it has F4 button, F5, and F F6. As we go on, you will see the, the importance of the F4, F5, and F6 button. Then this is the light button, this is go back button, then this is the book button, this is the page, page up and page down button. First of all, let's look at this. Then look at this knob. Knob here, you can use this to rotate and press down. You can rotate front and back, and you can also press it. Okay, let's press this and see when you press the knob, it's like go. Then you see from this knob, you can see you can toggle up and down. Then this shows you the device description, geoelectric workstation. Then this shows the device model, the serial number, the hardware versions, the software version, digit format, and all that. With, from here, you will see everything, the property of the workstation. Okay? Here, this is the environment. The environment shows the kind of um, location you are working on. You can change your GPS position on the environment. And the kind of cable you are using, you can actually choose the cable you are actually using. If you are using 12 dual takeouts, 24 dual I mean, single takeouts, or 30 single takeouts, you can actually do that here. Then you can go back. Then weather, wind temperature, humidity, and all that can be set here. The auto stacking is actually on 10. Self-checking is closed. So you can change all that here. Then texting, this. You can actually, if you um, uh, connect your cable leaders, that is your switchers, you can also text them here, but they are not connected right now. So we can go back. Then this project here, project page, it's where you see all projects you've actually downloaded. You can see different kind of projects that are actually installed here. So if you click anyone, for example, test projects, you will see um, um, the projects. There, let's go back and look at um, a project we've actually done here. For example, if you open up here, you will see the name of the project, the location it was done, date, and everything. Then, if you click to the lists, you will see all the work that was done inside this project. It means that this project holds about 10 kind of surveys from 1 to 10. If you want to view one, any of them, you click on it, then you can see details. It will load and you see the details of the project. You see, these are the details of the project that was actually captured under this um, IPPL line six. So this shows you the, the, the volt, the current, the resistivity, the LSP, and the chargeability. This shows you the, your your MN, which is your potentials, and your BF, which are the are your the currents. So that is it. Then we can go back. You say exit F3. Yes, you can go back and all that. Then let's assume in this project you want to set up a new one. Okay. Now, for you to set up a project that will appear here, you must have. Use the last video will showed how you can form your project using your Geomative Studio, the application, the software that you'll be able to use um, uh, to set up a project before you'll be able to download it um, uh, into GD10. Now, let's assume you've set up a project and it's downloaded as this project name. Let's choose anyone here. Okay. And the name is Esut as the project. Now, when you click this, it shows the project name, the remark, the dates you formed the project folder, the project manager, and everything involved. 
Now, what do you want to carry out? You want to carry out a 2D, a 2D or 3D or 1D. You can see VEX list, which is for 1D, 2D lists, 3D lists. Now, you want a new, you want to form a new list. You press new text. When you form a new text, new text will come out. Now, you can see your task name. Task name, from here you can toggle and pick your tax name. Assume you want your tax name A, B. You come down here. You know, you come down here. And that is A, B. You say, sorry, sorry, that is, um, okay, yes. So A, B, that is A, B I've actually formed at the tax name. The project name, oops, you cannot change it because this has actually been done in your application. So you've actually formed the project name as ASUS. Then your GP position, GPS position, when you press GPS position, it can search on its own automatically. Then the method you want to use, you need to choose the method. What method are you using? Are you interested in resistivity or IP, either 1D, 2D? Or whatever so you can choose it here in this case we assume that we are working with ip2d then what kind of cable are you using conventional ip mode you can choose that then what method um uh, of array sorry what method of array do you want to go into so here you see different configurations you can choose from the configurations you are working on. You can see it can support so many configurations, the winner dipole, dipole pole, the dipole dipole lambda, and all that. So let's choose dipole dipole. It will load the configuration for dipole dipole. Now, so it's loading. So it's loading data. So you wait. It has actually finished loading. Then the next one is the scripts. This script is based on, if you want to use already installed scripts, which is the standard script, or there's a special script you've written, it will be found here. So you can see here, we've actually done a script before, which is saved at essence. So this is another script here. So these are different scripts. So I can form this script, say essence, use script essence. Now, this is actually done using a, the geomatic application before being installed here. You can actually revisit our last video to see how you'll be able to form your script using Geomatic um, uh, Studio. Then you can see skip electrodes. This means how many electrodes do you want to skip at the start of your work? Do you want to skip anyone or do you want to actually continue from zero electrode? So, so if there are no one you want to skip, leave it at zero, you want to skip Want to start at one and end at twelve. In this case, we are using twelve electrodes. In this, but this system can use numerous number of electrodes depending on the accessories you've acquired. So here we use twelve electrodes at once. Then start layer. The layers will start from one and end at layer seven. You mean that for this twelve electrodes, it's going to build twelve. Um, it's going to build about seven layers for the twelve electrode. Then roll along means. For example, if you don't have enough cable, you can do roll along and it will still continue reading from where you stopped. So here we don't do roll along. We say no. So stacking, you can say stacking, sorry, stacking as scripts. You can say as scripts, that is according to the script you've done there. The electro spacing we are using here is five. You can use 10 depending on what your configuration looks like. These are other things you can actually fill in, sample interval, operator, quality, and all that. So, if you are true with that, you can press, this is your save here. You can say save. It says save in place. So, create successfully. Now, it's trying to tell you that it has actually created form for you to get ready to acquire your data. Then, what do you do? You do details. Press detail. When you press the detail here, you see everything going on you can see all the forms it means that it is ready to acquire the data so that it does it then you can continue acquiring 
let's assume that this is actually um, uh, in the field now. We can say acquire. You know, you can see you can start acquiring your data. So that is actually how you can you can set up you can set up your two D form for data acquisition. In our next subsequent one, we can tell you how you can check your grounding. I can do your section graph, profile graph, and other IP graphs using the mainframe. Thank you. Have a nice day.